Hey guys, welcome back. We got another Mythic Legion up for review today. We have Faunus up for review today from the Advent of Decay series. On the side of the package, we have a picture of Faunus along with a short paragraph on his background. On the back of the package, we have some new 2.0 artwork for Advent of Decay along with a short story on the lore of Mythic Legions. Let's get them out. Mythic Legions are packed in collector-friendly packaging. They're easy to remove or put back into the package without tearing anything. Faunus is the commander of the Silverhorn Sentries and an integral part of the defense of Castle Silverhorn. He's able to manipulate the castle's structure, changing the trees into an added layer of defense. Faunus is a powerful elemental warrior who is proficient in primal nature spells. But he not only serves as a powerful protector to his home, he's also one of the most trusted advisors to Queen Artemis. Let's check out some of his details. Faunus has a large tree-like wooden head with large branches spreading out. His jade green eyes and wood grain sculpted in his skin really brings out all the detail in this figure. On the side we can see more of that wood texture sculpted all over. We can notice his Faunus ears are fresh green leaves. On the back we have two branches that are cut off. We can see rings in the tree where the cuts are. On the chest we have a bright red tabard with a few cloth-like wrinkles sculpted in. On the back we have more of that bright red along with three large peg holes. We will be covering up this area later with shoulder armor. The shoulder has layers of brown steel armor with two golden stripes down the center. We can see the armor transition to green at the elbow. The gauntlets are painted green with golden trim and rivets. On the front we have a large green steel belt with four small golden rivets. Under the belt we have the rest of the tabard hanging. The cloth is sculpted very wavy and gives it a realistic cloth look. On the side we have large plates of heavy armor layered over each other, attached by golden rivets. The armor here shares more of that green paint with the golden trim. Underneath the tabard we can see the chainmail armor. We have brown heavy painted armor with the golden trim. The legs transition into more of that green color with detailed sculpting on the legs. We end the figure with black hooves with a bit of brown near the top. The armor here is fully green and has small dents carved into the sculpting that shows its worn out use. Let's check out the articulation. We have a ball jointed head, arms that open and rotate, elbows that bend and rotate, a rotating forearm, wrists that bend up and down and rotate, a ball jointed waist, legs that open and move forward and back thighs that rotate, knees that bend back and rotate, and hooves that bend up and down and rotate. Let's take a look at all the accessories. We have a matching pair of shoulder armor with the same paint job as the green parts of the armor. Installing the shoulder is as easy as matching the peg to the correct socket in the back. We get a brown and green shield with the new 2.0 adapter on the back. We get a stretchy piece of cloth to act as an extended part of the tabard. To install it, you take the figure apart at the waist and remove the belt. You can then thread the cloth through the waist joint and place the belt back on top. The cloth gives the figure a very unique look not seen in many other figures. We get a mage staff with a wooden topper that is removable, but we don't get an additional staff head. We get a very small gold and red dagger that comes with a decorated sheath. The sheath has a small clip that can attach to a belt. We get a standard longsword. We get a pair of adapters to use with wings if you wanted to attach them to the figure. And we finish off the figure with a standard belt that fits the larger 1.0 bodies. Faunus is a bit of a sleeper hit. When he was released with the 2.0 Advent of Decay series, his face sculpt was very interesting and unique. But he was overshadowed by the much newer sculpts and accessories. The only new feature included with this figure is the unique head sculpt and the small dagger. As for accessories, we get three weapons and a shield. The wooden staff is nice and appropriate for the figure. But as a battle mage, I would have liked to see a few maces included instead of a sword and dagger. The color scheme for this figure is very unique. Green is a color we really don't see on armor these days. And the cloth-like skirt gives him a new nice appearance and makes him more unique from all the other 1.0 bodies. Overall, Faunus is a good figure. You weren't missing out too much by not having this figure, and the main reason to pick him up is for the unique head sculpt. As he's the leader of the Silverhorn Sentries, if you army built the Sentries, then having the Commander is a must-have. 
pick this character up if you really love the paint job and the head sculpt. But overall, nothing new here you haven't seen before. Just a nice looking, unique figure. Alright guys, more reviews are coming up soon. Check out my other reviews and I'll catch you guys next time.